So friends, in Angular app, while accessing our web API, or we can say ASP.NET Core web API, I'm getting this um, course error. You can see uh, this URL has been blocked by course policy. Okay, so no access control around origin. So how to resolve this error? So friends, here I need to open this web API project. I need to go to here in the program.cs file. First, I need to stop this. Okay, so I need to write some logic here. So uh, let me create one variable and I will give the variable name as my origin. Okay, you can give any name my origin and uh, my origins is equal to and let's give the same name. Right. Then builder dot services dot add dot and and what I need to add here add post. Okay, so add post c o r s you can see here add post and this uh, let's give the option options dot okay get the s here. But it will work option be an option as well. So do not worry. And here add policy. And policy will be here. I need to give the name and uh, my origin and comma policies. So policies will be like policies and the lambda expression let's give here policy dot with origin with origins and then here I need to provide the URL. Okay. So which URL I need to access here. I need to access this URL, this one. So let's copy from here. So there will be no error. So yes, and okay, HTTP, HTTP. This is the URL I want to access. Okay, same con. Okay, we need to use this as well. So app dot use post use post, and here I need to provide. Now what is the variable name? My origins. So let's just copy and paste it here. It's really fun. But this I need to use here. Here. Okay. That is the error I am getting. So let's try to run it again. And we'll see. It is able to get the default or not. So yeah, it is working fine. While well, I try to access it through server. So I'm able to get the record work. Same thing I need here. Yeah. I'm able to access it. Now call is going. So now we can see the data here. Oh yeah, we got the data. So guys, like this we can resolve the error. If, if you are facing uh post error in your uh ASP.NET Core Web API 7.0, then you can resolve like this. Okay. The thing is here we are not having a startup.cs file, so we need to choose our uh, like we need to add our dependency injection in program.cs files. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you are able to resolve your problem. Thank you.